Okay, so uh, replacement keyboard. Uh, due to the fact my Corsair one has developed some faults and it needs a good clean as well, to be honest, uh, where certain keys are not working at the moment. Um, I'm going to have to basically strip it down and uh, clean it out. Um, I bought another one in a prime sale. Um, I've never used a Razer keyboard before, so this should be interesting. It's going to be a replacement keyboard. I'm hoping I can get this bloody bugger fixed, but. Uh, it doesn't detect it in the IQ software. I've tried driver resets. I've tried resetting the keyboard. I've tried a few different things and nothing seems in, and it doesn't show up in the um, in the IQ software at all. So I think there could be a hardware issue with this, um, which means I must probably have to send it back, which I don't really want to do. This is about a 35, 40 pound keyboard, so a little bit more than this was, but not too bad in the grand scheme of things so i've never ever used a, core, a razor product before so let's have a look at it and uh, we will see what it's like okay so what have we got here then what's this defeated by a box how embarrassing Maximize your device with Razer Synapse. In other words, another piece of bleeding software. Yay. It's well and nicely packaged, though. I'll give it that. It is well and nicely packaged. Um, they've clearly made some effort with the manual, that's for sure. This was um, for gamers, by gamers. This was 30 quid on Amazon, as already said. Uh, so, yeah, it's not too bad if I can actually open the book. And what is that? Uh, is that stickers or yeah it looks like stickers this one only thing is that has got obviously the programmable keys and this doesn't have that but to be honest I've never actually ever used the programmable keys is it is it macros and things like that so uh, more so for certain types of games obviously uh, World of Warcraft is one that would come to mind um, what's this that's a good idea. Nice and well protected, that's for sure. So we will do a quick noise test and see if there's a... I've never done much on keyboards before, so this should be kind of interesting. Okay, so let's just try Euro game. I can spell, that's good to know. Okay, so that's the noise of that keyboard. Um, I'll do the same thing on this one. Interesting. So they are very, very similar in a lot of regards. Um, ah, and here is the uh, the wrist pad. So let's hook this up and we'll see. It feels there's not really that much in it, to be honest. Did they? They're about the same. I mean, they are similar sort of price points, I guess. So there's not that much in it. But what we'll do is we'll hook up. I think I'll have to install the Razer Synapse software in order to. Um, I think because the standard Razer is green. So, uh, yeah. So we shall see. But interesting nonetheless. Okay, so there is the keyboard set up. Um, It's not too bad. It is a budget, more budget sort of range keyboard in the sort of the thirty pound mark. Um, one criticism straight away, uh, and it's a minor one at that. Um, the Corsair one, as you can see, has that, and obviously, it does feel. I wouldn't say better, but it feels more tactile to it. Definitely, you can feel it, and it has that. Which is a wrist rest. Now, as you can see, it's attached. Uh, with this keyboard, um, you've got a wrist rest. Uh, a rest wrist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A wrist rest. Um, but as you can see, it's not even attached. It's not even. It should be. That should be magnetized. There's. That should have magnets in it. That really doesn't make any sense. That's really the only criticism I've got. Really, it looks nice. Um, 
And it's good for a budget keyboard for sure, or budget-ish. Still not what I define as exactly cheap, but it's not badly priced in the grand scheme of things. And the uh, lighting on this is actually, I'd say, a little bit more distinct than the Corsair keyboard. Um, but the fact that the, all the numbers are typing on this um, leads me to believe that my Corsair keyboard has developed some type of hardware fault or some damage inside, so I'm going to give it a clean up. But when I looked, I couldn't see anything that would damage it, or anything that could have damaged it, other than maybe the possibility that uh, some water's got uh, on the actual... Uh, the traces on the board, as in a, uh, the, I don't know, I'm fully understand the circuits, whatever you'd call it. The, um, so yeah, that might have to go back to Corsa, or I just stick with this keyboard. Um, it's not too bad. It doesn't have such a tactile feedback to it as the other one, but uh, it's not a big deal, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's a little quick, uh, I guess you could call it a mini review of the. And then they said Corsair then of the Razer Onam V3X Low Profile Gaming Keyboard. Um, would I recommend? Uh, I've never used a Razer product before, so this is going to be interesting. I've um, got the Razer software up. Hopefully this doesn't conflict and cause any problems with uh, the Corsair one, which I don't think I've got running currently. Because um, all my other peripherals are Corsair uh, mouse. Heads up, um, bands. So <laughs> we shall uh, go from there. And even the uh, AIO call, I think, is Corsair as well. So, anyway, yeah, so uh, check it out if you like. And uh, I'll get back to you when I've used it for a while to see how what my experience has been with it.